Sam was the new girl in school. She was from the city, quiet, kept to herself, and had this badass, don't mess with me type of attitude, but in like the kindest, sweetest way, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> um, it wasn't long after we met that I'd be at her house after school eating SpaghettiOs with white bread and butter with her and Lex at your table in Marlboro. <laughs> Um, we were doing each other's hair, makeup, talking about boys, all that good stuff. Uh, we threw some pretty good house parties at your house, Lori. <laughs> um, later on, after high school, we were going to uh, college together. We would always skip out half the time and play Call of Duty Zombies. What's up, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Got her a motorcycle vest wow. and, I, and she's gonna be like this little biker chick scooter chick bro and she's gonna go down the aisle to bat to the bone like every three feet or so she'll stop look at people kind of smugly with her cataract glasses on and just throw flower petals at yes. people and then go and face. keep on doing that yeah just be in We are gathered here today with family and friends to unite Samantha and Edward in marriage. Dear Ed, on earth I believe certain people are sent to us depending on our own choices and trajectory. You came into my life when I had least expected to be someone worthy of the promise and the patience you breathe into my life. On the days that are less than great, you've always been the voice of reason, communicating and pledging in the power of hope and prayer, and you know that's not my strong suit. Today comes with a resounding siren of why life can be so great and why such great things take time. On the days where there seems to be no silver lining, in which both of ours have hidden shown before, I vow to always be your best friend and sidekick. I vow to always back you, remind you of your irreplaceable presence here on earth, and moreover to never doubt the exact power of hope and prayer you've tried and continue to instill within me. I vow to always keep your and our kids filled with the tender hugs and advice of many tomorrows, and more profoundly with the innate fact of reiterating, there are millions of humans in this world, but nobody loves them like their dad. I believe to some extent love is a choice. However, I fully believe that choosing you wasn't really a choice. It was just destiny. Our bond gives me solace in knowing loving you every day is a privilege, and it's a blessing. I look forward to showing you this again and again. Until we're old and gray, I love and choose you eternally. Love you forever, Mrs. M. Samantha, my love, my peace, as I stand before you on this momentous day, I am overwhelmed with gratitude for the incredible journey we've embarked on together. Four years ago, we were strangers, and now we are each other's greatest confidants, partners, and loves. 
You, a nurse with a heart that heals, have become not only my wife, but also a stepmother to our four amazing children. You may not have birthed them, but you love them as your own, which is a testament to your character and the love you have to offer this family and the world around you. With you, I found my anchor, my confidant, and my greatest love. Today and always, I choose you in sickness and health, in joy and sorrow, in every moment we share. Our love story is a testament to the strength of our bond, and I eagerly anticipate the countless chapters we'll write together as husband and wife. I love you, Mantha, even after later. I give this ring. I give this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. I give this ring. I give this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. It's a brand new beginning. The start of a journey. I charge you to make this the best journey ever. Always remembering. A good marriage is never being too old to hold hands. You've got that down. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together and facing the world. And it is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. By the authority vested in me by the state of New York, I now pronounce you Edward and Samantha, husband and wife. I wish you a lifetime of health, happiness, and prosperity. Eddie, you may now kiss your wife. Thing that I, I, I will say, Eddie's a man of integrity, um, always willing to help, caring, loving man, right? I think you know that, right? 100%. You make him even better. So let us raise our glasses to this remarkable couple, Sam and Eddie, as they embark on their lifelong adventure together, a journey of selfless love and unwavering commitment and shared, oh, thank you very much, and shared faith. <laughs> Cheers to your love story, and may the future be even more beautiful than your past to Sam and Eddie. God bless. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for the best man.